you ever found one of your old drives and you know that it has some kind of a Debian based operating system, whether that's Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or even Debian, and you decide to plug it into one of your PCs just to see if you can power that VM back on, but then you really quick realize you forgot that password and you think all is lost. Well, it's not. I'm actually gonna show you really quick how to fix that. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and reboot and or reboot your system. And then once it reboots, I'll show you what we need to do from there. Now that it has rebooted, we are gonna come up on our grub. And we wanna select E right here, which is going to bring us into kind of like a command line. We're gonna take our down arrows and scroll down to where it says Linux. And then we're going to take the right arrow and scroll all the way to the end of that line. At the end of the line, you're going to see R-O-W or R-O space quit. You're going to go to quit and you're going to do space R-W space in it equals bin slash bash. And then you will do control X or F10 to reboot that, that device one more time. And it's going to bring you into a command line more like Linux. And you'll see it says root none, and we're going to type in pass wd and the username. Every time that I've done this, I've had to type it twice, so you'll do pass wd one more time, and then the username. Next thing it's gonna do is ask you to put in a password. So you put in that super secret squirrel password and then put it in one more time and then hit control alt delete to reboot your system. And we're just gonna let it boot as normal from right here. We're gonna select anything or you can press the enter at the top. Now we have where it puts in your username. You're gonna put in that, that password that you just created right there and it will load you back into that system. And it might take a few minutes because it's the first time I've spun this up in like two years. But let's go ahead and I'm just gonna run terminal and do who am I to see who I am and it will show Brian and I'm gonna do host name and this is Thanos. This was my first machine that I used for virtual machine for virtual machines and for home lab. I actually ran several virtual boxes from Windows Server 2016 and some Windows 10, built all of that kind of stuff. If you wanna learn a little bit more of how I use VirtualBox now, Click the link up here on one of these where that video pops up. And if you like content like this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.